identify the stage of tooth development in this image. So what we're staying, seeing is somewhat a growth like this with a layer of another layer inside and then a very loose connective tissue stroma with a lot of cells. Over here you have cells which are arranged, columnar cells which have been arranged in a particular fashion. Okay. Then you have an eosinophilic, you have something eosinophilic over here. Eosinophilic is pink. Then you can again see another eosinophilic layer here and following this eosinophilic layer you can see another layer of tall columnar cells. So this is more based a little more darker and okay in this region you can see base something basophilic over here also you can see something basophilic so something basophilic here and then you can see the layer of cells again so if you can identify you will see that this is basically the development of the tooth a slide of the development of the tooth that they have given it to you where you can see the dental papilla which is present in the center this is the odontoblastic layer so this is the dental papilla all of this is the odontoblastic layer this is the dentine which has been laid down this very small layer of basophilia that you see over here that is the enamel and then you have the amyloplast which are rimming the enamel matrix so the entire process of tooth development occurs in a set of stages these stages are where you initially have the placode which is formed so this placode after that forms what is a dental lamina as well as the vestibular lamina the vestibular lamina gives rise to the vestibule whereas the dental lamina gives rise to the teeth from the uh, dental lamina you have a particular thing a particular growth which shows looks like a bud and that is why it is called the bud stage after the bud stage you have the cap stage in the cap stage, the entire structure with the amylo, uh, with the outer and inner and epithelium, as well as the stellate reticulum which is present in the center, that entire structure is called as the enamel organ. And this enamel organ is connected to the oral ectoderm with the help of the dental lamina. After that, the cap stage proceeds to form the early bell stage and after the early bell stage it forms the advanced bell stage so like you can see this is the oral ectoderm and this is the mesian kind it forms the dental bud that you can see where it has the epithelial cells from the epithelial cells it goes to the cap stage where you have again over here the stellate reticulum the dental papilla and you have the this outer and inner enamel epithelium. So this forms the outer enamel epithelium, whereas this is the inner enamel epithelium, and this inner enamel epithelium divides to give rise to the amyloblasts, and the amyloblasts lay down the enamel. However, before the amyloblasts have laid down the enamel, they induce the cells of the dental papilla to differentiate into odontoblasts. These odontoblasts lay down the dentine. Because of this, the dent because of this laying down of the dentine, the uh, inner enamel epithelium differentiate into amyloblasts and the amyloblasts lay down the enamel. So that is the reason why the first tooth structure to be laid down or the first tooth structure to be formed is the dentine and it is not the enamel. After this enamel what we see over here, EK is nothing but the enamel knot, which is basically a reservoir of the dividing cells. From that, you have, like I you see, this is basophilic, which is the enamel. Eosinophilic is the dentine. These are the odontoblasts. These are the amyloblasts. And these are the dental papilla cells. The dental papilla cells will later give rise to all the cells of the pulp. So, coming to the question over here, they have just asked you to identify the stage of tooth development. And that is why the answer over here is the advanced bell stage. Why? Because you can see that it is like the, it has grown so much. Whereas when it comes to the early bell stage, what you would see is something like this. Sorry, this is how it will be. So if you have to differentiate the different types, this is the bud, this is the cap, then this is the advanced bell, sorry, early bell and this is the advanced bell. Okay, so that is how you differentiate between the four stages of tooth development.